coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next Java made easy tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to make a number guessing game and um, hopefully you guys have tried it out yourselves if you haven't then you can pause this and try and do it yourselves and, or you can just watch me do it and see how it goes so we're going to import the, the scanner and our number guessing game is going to have um, a bunch of uh, different levels so we're just going to um, we're just going to print out the levels so we're going to say um, enter a uh, um, we'll, we'll list out some options we'll say of an easy mode uh, we'll say 2 is medium or normal and last but not least we'll have a hard mode so we have three game modes and then we're gonna use system dot out dot print and we'll just say enter a mode or something like that and we'll create an integer variable um, and we'll say oh first we need to create our scanner so we'll just create that quickly And don't worry if you have to pause it because I'm typing too fast. Don't um, just feel free to do so. So we're gonna say user input, and we're gonna say next int. And so we're going to get the integer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some error checking. So just to be some safe, to be safe, we're gonna use some of the the skills we've learned. So we're obviously gonna execute this one. So we'll just use a do while loop, and we'll say while um, mode is. Um, less than one or mode is greater than three so it has to be between one and uh, one and three and in order for this to work we're gonna put this mode out here and just give it a default value like zero or something okay so what we have is we're going to um, insert our game mode and depending on our game mode, we want to um, do certain things with it. So we're going to have an integer called number of guesses. And um, depending on the game mode, uh, we need to have the number of guesses and we need to have the max number. And we'll just set these to zero by default. And so we're going to use a switch statement like we've used before and we're going to put in the mode. So we're going to say if it's easy mode, we want to set uh, the number of guesses. We'll give them 20 guesses. Give you 20 guesses and we'll put the max number at 20. And we'll put break. And we'll have another case statement and we'll say number of guesses is equal to, to 10. Just cut it in half. And we'll say the, the max number is 100. And in the hard mode, we'll set the number of guesses equal to 5, and we'll set the max numbers equal to 1,000. And we'll put break. And uh, we're probably going to want to put all of these in a while loop so we can run the program um, once again. Now, in the, in the last few programs, we made a Boolean called is running. But we're not going to do that anymore. What we're going to do is we're just going to, um, we're just going to do put it in a while loop, and we're just going to say while true. Cause we're going to use a break anyways. We're going to use a break statement to break out of it if they want, don't want to do it anyways. So we don't need to make a uh, we don't need to make a variable. So uh, what this is going to do is obviously going to run because it's set to true. So it's going to run infinitely until we break out of this while loop. So it's going to continuously run, get the mode, and then we're going to get the mode, and then we're going to set the number of guesses, and so on and so forth. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set a... Uh, we need to actually get the random number and so we're going to generate a random number 
we'll call it number. And we'll set the number equal to, well, well, we need to make a rand. And we'll say, we'll call it number to guess. And we'll say the number to guess is equal to uh, rand, uh, the max number plus one. So within that range, and it has to be next int. So rand dot next int the maximum from one. So like if they if they say no if they say level one or mode number one, then they have to guess a number between one and twenty. They guess mode two a number between one and ten, uh, one and a hundred, and mode three between one and a thousand. Now we're gonna want to let the we're gonna want to prompt the user. So uh, and here we can just prompt the user using a system statement, and we'll say print line. Guess a number between one and twenty, and we can copy this. Place that in there. One in a hundred. Last but not least, one in a thousand. Okay, so we have uh, we prompt the user what uh, what they have to guess, and now we got the the number to guess, and yep. Yeah. So what we have to do is we're going to make a for loop now that's going to start at zero and it's going to be less than the number of guesses. So they only have a certain amount of guesses. And we're in here we're going they're going to guess a number. So we're going to say uh, we're going to call this guess and we're going to call user input dot next int. And that's so you're going to guess a number. So we're gonna do some. We're gonna say okay if the guess is greater than the the number to guess, then we're gonna prompt the user that they're too high. Too high. Else, if the guess is less than number to guess. Then we're gonna say too low, and then else we are going to say um, we'll say congratulations, you won. And we'll just break out of the loop because they won. We don't have to keep looping, so we'll do break. We'll say congratulations, you won. We'll exit out of it, and then we'll say you want. Um, do you want to play again? So, um, it, and also, if you want to do this outside the uh, loop, you can say okay. If the guess is not equal to the number to guess, so if it is exited the loop, and you have not guessed the loop, you not guess the value. So guess has to be out here because remember, it's out of scope. So guess is not equal to it. Then you can say try again. Try again next time or whatever. So now you've gotten that message. Now you just want to prompt the user to see if they want to run your program again. Would you like to run again? Uh, negative for for sorry, positive for yes, negative for no. And we'll just make that print, and then we'll get the answer. Is equal to the uh, user input dot next int, and if the answer is less than zero, then we will break out of it, and our program will be done. So what's gonna happen? Just walking through it again. We're gonna select our game mode, um, of our game mode, and all of this. Sorry. So this should be in here. 
So we're it's gonna uh, list our game modes. We're gonna enter a game mode. Um, then it's gonna tell us what numbers we have to guess through. It's gonna loop through how many guesses we have. Tell us if we're too high or too low. And then if we get, it, it's gonna say we won. If we don't get, it, it's gonna say try again next time. It's gonna ask us if we would like to run again. So let's test out our program. See if we have any problems. So these are our modes. I'm gonna do easy. Guess number between 1 and 20. So I'm gonna put 6. That's too high. 5. Too high. 3. Too high. 2. Congratulations, you won. Uh, if you want to run again, I'm gonna say no. And um, something that you can do to kind of like improve this program is you can even tell them um, how many guesses they have left or what guess number they're on. Uh, so you can do that to improve it if you like. But I'm going to end this tutorial here. And in the next tutorial, we are going to be learning about something um, completely new. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And bye for now.